Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are doing my IG baddie tutorial. So I'm starting off by taking the Maybelline Master Prime. I took the Blur and Smooth Master Prime and then now I'm just applying my designer brands concealer to my eyelids just to act as an eye primer that's usually what I would do and then I will just blend that out and then set that with some of my pressed powder which is the mode pressed powder it is literally bomb.com and it's only three dollars at Kohl's and some chemists Now I'm taking my Zoeva Cocoa Blends palette and I'm going to start with the shade start with the shade Substitute for Love. It is a really nice warm tone matte bronzy color and I'm just going to buff that into my crease with a really fluffy brush. You will see me build color up into my crease as the tutorial goes on, but yeah, for the time being I'm just taking that shade and blending away. Now I'm taking the shade Freshly Toasted, which is that deeper brown shade next to the one we just used, taking that on a more firmer brush and running that into my crease. Now with my Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going to be taking the shade Cypress Umbra and packing that into my crease a bit more, really defining that crease out. I'm using my Sigma E25 brush, that is perfect for building up the crease, I love this brush. Now taking the shade Golden Ochre and I'm just kind of blending everything together. It is a lighter shade so we'll just buff those colours all together. Going back into my Coco Blends palette, I'm taking the shade Bitter Star which is that matte cream shade. This palette is so pigmented and by the way guys this look is a full on matte look, something that I don't usually do. I'm usually all about the glitter shimmer life but I really enjoyed this look for something different. So I'm basically just packing that matte cream shade on and then going back in the crease and buffing it out and doing the same process until I'm happy with the result. Now for that bad ass winged liner, I'm taking my LOL liquid liner. This liner is amazing, it's $2 dollars it came up. however my one's so dodgy right now so I kind of switched out for my brown LOL liquid liner which is pretty much just a shade lighter but I had to work with what I've got. I couldn't find my Maybelline Hyper Sharp which is another one that I love so I'm kind of just making do with what I have. For this look I wanted a really badass long wing so that is what I went with. You've seen a lot of tutorials that do that so I just had to stick with that trend. And to top it off you need those badass looking big lashes. So I'm just using my favourite eBay ones, they are in the style 208. I will have the direct link down below so I highly suggest you guys go and pick up so many pairs of these bad boys because I sure have. So for foundation I am taking my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 220 and mixing that with my CoverGirl Get Gorgeous in the shade 120 I believe it was. This is the perfect combo for me at the moment, it's just amazing and I've been loving it. For my concealer, I'm taking the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Light. This is my new favourite concealer, I'm absolutely loving it. Just blending that out with my Beauty Blender. I applied it to the places where I always apply it, under the eyes, down the middle of the nose, forehead and my chin and my cupid's bow. To set under the eyes, I'm taking the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder, just packing that under my eyes as a type of baking motion as you do.
And then setting the rest of my face with the Mode Press powder that I used at the start of the video. Like I said, I love this powder and would highly recommend it. For bronzer, I'm taking my MAC Refined Golden Bronzer. This was from their Aquatics collection. I'm just giving my face a nice bronzy glow, putting it everywhere where I would usually bronze. And then to contour today, I'm taking my Bahama Mama Bronzer to chisel out those cheeks. Because let's be real guys, what Instagram girl doesn't have chiseled as fuck cheeks these days? So get it girl. Fake it till you make it, I say. Blending that all out, now I'm taking my Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder again and baking to chisel out some more because why the hell not? Now today for my brows, I took the Chi Chi Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown. I've been loving this for my brows lately and I'm just really defining my brows and then I'm going to put some gel in them which will be the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper, whatever it's called. But I really enjoyed how my brows turned out on this day. Back in to the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm taking the shade Warm Taupe and running that underneath my lower lash line to give it some definition. For my lower lash mascara, I am taking the NYX Mini Skinny Mascara, something like that, but it's the one with the really fine wand. I really enjoy this for getting in there. Taking the Wet n Wild Shimmer Palette in the shade Boozy Brunch, I'm going to run that underneath my brow bone just to give it that pop. For blush today, I'm taking the Wet n Wild Ombre Blush in the shade Mai Tai Buy You A Drink. This is just a gorgeous natural blush. I absolutely love it. Going back in with the Wet n Wild Shimmer Palette for highlight, I'm going to get those cheeks popping. So I'm really just layering this up as you guys can see. And then, for and then I took Becca Opal to just give me a really intense glow on top of that because these IG girls have that blind in highlight which is what I love personally too so let's get it to finish off with lips I'm taking the Kylie lip kit in the shade Dolce K it is just the perfect brownie nude I'm obsessed with this shade once the lips are on that is gonna wrap up the video guys I really hope you enjoyed please should be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe while you're here. I love you all so much and I will talk to you in my next video. Don't forget the hat and choker and let's finish it off with some really bitch ass poses.